today i'm going to show you how to make a wrap short this wrap short you need a stretchy fabric for this wrap short we can give you that fit and that snug look you just need your fabric you need a chalk a scissors a measuring tape and you need your sewing machine so you have to sew this piece but it's really easy really simple to make so if you want to see how to make a wrap short then definitely keep on watching by the way my name is Silem. very pleased to meet you if you're new here join the family hit the subscribe button down below it's absolutely free without further ado let's get right into the video oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> So I'm using two yards of fabric for this. Now the first thing I'm marking is the length of my short. I marked 15 inches for the length. That's the length I want for my short. It's going to be a high waist short. You can decide to make yours longer if you want. It all depends on you and it depends on the fabric you have available. But definitely um, feel free to make your um, short as long or as short as you want. Now I'm just cutting out the excess fabric in a straight line making sure that everything is nice and neat now once that's done i'm just going to take out the um, excess fabric and now i'm just going to add five inches to my regular hip measurement now my hip measurement is 38 inches plus five inches that is 43 inches so that's what i'm just marking now and I'm just cutting that and that will give me a rectangular shape okay now this is the first piece so I'm going to cut the same exact thing for the second piece and I'm going to place them on top of each other so you want to have two pieces of that and I'm just folding both of them and now I'm just going to mark 10 inches which is going to serve as my crotch depth now um depending on um your hip measurements you can make your crotch depth your crotch depth um wider or longer than that now i now marked one and a half inches from the bottom all the way to the top but when i got to the top of that crotch depth i curved it outwards so i'm just um cutting along um that line so like i said if your hip measurement is maybe from 40 upwards maybe 40 45 you can make your crotch depth about 12 inches or thereabouts now i just open that up and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use safety pins to just pin along that curve that i cut open all the way around It's important you pin it because you're going to sew along um, that curved um, edge. So it's important you pin it in place so that it doesn't move and everything um, stays together. This is what it looks like once I'm done pinning it. I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew all the way around. And as I sew along, I'm just going to take out the pins as I go. And that's all the way to the from one side to the other side and this is what it looks like once i've sewn it together now i'm going to take my um band now this is what i'm going to use um to tie the wrap short you know i'm going to take about um 17 inches that's how um that's how long the band is going to be and then the width of this band is um, about four inches wide. So I'm going to use that one and I'm going to use it to cut um, several other pieces. You want to have four pieces at the end of the day. So um, just cut out four pieces like this, four inches um, wide and 17 inches long. Now this fabric is stretchy. So um it's important to use a stretchy fabric and since it's a stretchy fabric the band is going to stretch as well so um you can 
tie it on around your waist and tie it very securely and everything is nice and you know secure and these are the four pieces that i have it's okay if they're not very even you're gonna sew it anyway so it's fine i'm gonna fold them like that and then i'm gonna sew it along you know that line I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to sew it from one end and down the length of the band. I'm going to leave the other end open. Because I'm going to turn it out. I'm going to turn the um, band to the right side through that um, open end. So now I'm just turning the band to the right side and now I just went ahead to iron it iron um, all four pieces very nicely and this is what we have now back to our shorts we're going to open this up and just arrange it so it looks like an actual short okay so that line that you um, sewed ends up being in the middle because it's your crotch is the crotch line so it should be in the middle now I'm just going to take the first piece and I'm going to I'm going to pin it on um, one edge right there okay I'm going to do the same thing for the second piece so each corner would have a a belt attached to it it's important so that you can use those belts to tie the wrap short so i'm just pinning all of them and then i'll go ahead to sew all of them in place so i'm going to tack them very tightly it's important that you tack it very well when you're sewing so that it doesn't like loosen because all of the pressure when you're tying the wrap shorts is going to be on those belts so you have to make sure that you go over it several times so you tack it front and back um, forward and backward forward and backward several times so everything is nice and secure you can go ahead and even make two um, seams um, if you want that would just make sure that would just make it even more secure I, I just went ahead to do that on all four sides and this is what we have so everything is nice and neat remember this fabric is self-finished so it doesn't fray so you don't have to worry about putting the bands or all of or hemming it or anything like that the most important thing is putting the belts and sewing the crotch um, together now to wear it i simply aligned the um, front part of the crotch right at the middle there took the belts to the back tied it at i made a knot at the back took the belts to the front and i made another knot in front now i'm taking the rest of the fabric passing it under my leg to um, my back side and then i'm just going ahead to align the center part of the crotch and then go ahead and tie the belt right in front it's pretty simple align the front crotch take the belt to the back make a knot at the back bring the belt back to the front make another knot and then align the back crotch and then just tie it on the front and at the back in the front and at the back until you get a very very lovely looking wrap short like this this is what it looks like guys i really really love how it looks i love how you know simple and cute it is it's very versatile you can wear it with anything thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next one bye